Vishnu. All the time he keeps chanting the name of Sri Narayana. Once, ego entered into the minds of Sage Narada. He started boasting about himself as the greatest devotee of Lord Vishnu. One day, Sage Narada went to see Bhagavan Vishnu and Vaikun. Please come in. You always bring so much joy to me. Shri Narayana, I enjoy chanting your name all the time. Can I ask you a question? In that hesitation, Narada, being one of my dearest devotees, will I say no to you? That's my question. You said being one of my dearest devotees. I thought I'm the greatest devotee of you. Is there any other devotee who will come close to me? Oh, Narada, there are many. How can there be any devotee equal to me? I chant your name all the time. Even in my dream, I chant your name. Narada, please go and see this farmer in the village of Bhaktagram. His name is Haridas. is sleeping with his family. With the sound of early morning birds, he wakes up. Narada will be watching from the corner. Father, keep some of this food for offering to guests. Hurry, that's going to far. While working in the park, he chanted Narayana a few times, and when he came back, did puja to Vishnu and had dinner. Before sleeping, he again chanted Narayana a few times. He chanted your name only 20 times in the entire day. I chant not less than 1,000 times. How come he is a better devotee than me? Oh Narada, I will explain to you. Please calm down. Go to the kitchen and bring some water in a pot. Narada, keep this pot on your head and balance it. Walk a hundred feet like that. Now tell me Prabhu, why Haridas is a better devotee? Arda, when you were walking while balancing the pot, how many times did you chant my name? No, I did not remember you even once. I was too engrossed in balancing the pot on my head. Narada, Haridas is a family holder. His work is like balancing the pot on the head. In spite of that, he remembers me so many times. Bhagavan Vishnu, you have removed the ego that covered me. Give me your blessings so that I will never get caught up in the ego again. So be it, my child. Mm -hmm. 